students today i am going to explain you a new concept in c++ this is called a template let's consider an example that there is a class and there is a main function which is outside like in any other class now let's give a name to this class as let's say num now we know that we have the private and public section in this in the private section let's say i have an integer called number integer called number and let us make this class name as number or something that's okay integer number and you know that when you write a public uh, um, constructor in public you usually give the same name after that in the same name if it is a constructor with arguments then you can also give integer n then you can initialize n is equal to num so instead of doing this we can also put a colon and say that num n it is same thing it is same thing so i can simply write it like this it is same thing now you have a constructor and a symbol private variable now i am defining another function called let's say integer get num function so what it will do is it will simply return it will simply return the number n u m this private variable it will return now let's say in the main you wanted to create wanted to create an object of the variable number let's say my integer and after that you pass a number say one or something after that now if i print c out my integer dot get num will print it will always call this function and return the number the number what has been passed as 7 and it will print 7 let's say you wanted to make this class a general purpose that the type of the variable you want instead of integer you also want it to be a float also let's say or double number or something so suppose you will make a general purpose program which will let's say create another and the instance 
which is called my double and when I use the same line C out my double dot get num should give you the double number that means whenever I call this function it has to work for double whenever I call this function it has to work for integer so if I have to create a class which will work for both these types that means sometimes it has to work as integer sometimes it has to work as double what you need to do is you have to create a general purpose program class program which would look like this here you will replace all this integer by t and wherever there is an integer you will replace by t and here also you will replace by t capital T so after that in the main you will say you will start with a template you will give a special statement which is template class T. Now I am going to demonstrate you this program in a C++ compiler then concept will be more clearer to you. Now I just begin like any other program I start a new source file and to demonstrate you I have to write these two lines for everything after that you have to the same thing which I discussed with you just now in the whiteboard you have to create a class number and private variable here wherever the t was there it was integer or float it will take automatically it will automatically change and the in the main in the main function in the main function you can simply you can simply call like this number integer number seven number double number double this is these are the this is the object after that integer number and double number also it will work commonly the same class will work for both the t will be replaced by integer or double now what is missing in this is actually a line which is called template class t which has to be written at the beginning so now if I execute this program by let's say 14 or something you can see that in for integer it will print 7 otherwise it's 7.7 .7. so it is a common program which works for both the type any type of any type of variable integer or double it works common for both so this is how you create a template one of the good examples of this is actually a template calculator which you can find in most of the places in the internet that is like a, you want to create a calculator like this so let's say class calculator there are two numbers 
and you have to display the result of adding, subtracting, multiplying, etc. etc. So you have different function t add, t subtract, t multiply, different type of variables it can take, either integer or float. So you can see the output of this program. See that this this is a good example of the template. Okay then. Thank you.